Okay, my friend. So what do we have here? <laughs> Everyone, this is Jesse. Thank you, Jesse, for having me along. No problem. So this is your $700 this is the golf. <laughs> I bought this car for $750. It's actually my daily driver. With 186, 637 <laughs> miles. Follow the Miata. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, baby. Let's see what $750 can get you for a track day car and a daily driver. <laughs> I did already break it today, so uh, yeah. some tires are cold. We'll get a little, we'll get warmed up out here. Okay. Yeah, the cold tires. <laughs> Just a tad. A little bit. But I tell you what, I'm already having fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, little thing you know, I actually have, I, we drive rally cars, so this is like a walk in the park compared to driving in the dirt. Yeah. Uh, we actually race the same exact cars. Um, you know, 2006, 2009 Volkswagen Rabbit with a five cylinder engine in it. Nice. I don't have a five cylinder. It sounds like a show Audi, you know? <laughs> it's everything he ever wanted. Cheap, reliable. Yeah. Cheap. Uh, <laughs> I drove an RS3. Oh yeah, that that's like that's like the superstar version of having a five cylinder. Yeah. But I, I love that car. That thing ripped. I mean deep inside it's pretty much the same same thing. No, I had a great time with it. Yeah, those are good times. There you go. That was a very good time. Warming up the tires a little bit more. Uh huh. Yeah, they'll get warm. Uh, these, so I did my Washington in, what was it, 21, I think? In my rally car. Nice. Uh, these tires are left over from that. <laughs> tell you what man I got the bug oh it's super fun uh, I went over to a group of guys I think it was including you and asked for the tourniquet I'm like all right I need some more yeah, yeah, need yeah, some yeah, more yeah. let's go we do a lot of rally cross um, rally cross a little bit of autocross I'm not the biggest fan of autocross because it's a lot of uh, it's not this it's less chill Okay. Some people will argue with it. Oh, this guy can't stick his hand out the window, so he uses blinkers. Um, but it's, I mean, everybody has their flavor. You know? Yeah. This is, I always do this track day every year with a lot of my friends because it's a great time. It's super chill. And we get the clips. Go on, hammer on cars. And go for more gear here. Yeah. Nice, dude. I get the help. You know, I help a bunch of my friends learn how to drive a little better than they expected. We, we do a bunch of other stuff too. We do endurance road racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're going uh, this weekend after this up to Burke Hill Climb. So I'm actually co driving for that round uh, 280Z. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The passenger seat of that. Uh, Coaching slash co-driving. Nice. So, uh, well, good for you guys. That sounds like fun. Oh, and yeah. I and I must say, Jesse, you're fast in this thing. <laughs> like I'm like he's putting down some pretty solid times right now. I have a lot of seat time in front-wheel drive cars. Um, How much understeer does uh, this thing produce? Because it's more. I'm feeling some oversteer. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, so currently my ABS doesn't work, so it actually helps it with, uh, with like, if you feel right with it. Yeah. So you feel it come around like that. Like, that's all oversteer. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why you don't, you don't sleep on front-wheel drive cars. So. Uh, so, that guy in the Civic, holy crap, is he fast. Yeah, yeah, I was very impressed with him today. Uh, he was going pretty good. That it locks up the inside rear, so we got a little smoke trail coming out the back. Yeah. You get a good one on the camera on that one. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, um, I have a lot of seat time in front wheel drive. Um, I do motorcycle stuff too. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the only, actually, motorcycle's the only reason why I can drive a rail drive car. Because it's the same kind of manners. On throttle. I, this I, I, you probably, it may be hard to notice, but I'm really on the throttle for most of the time. <laughs> on where if you're in a rear wheel drive car, it doesn't work that easy. Interesting. It's like backwards from what most rear drive cars will do. If I drove a rear wheel drive car like this, we'd be backwards. Uh -huh. That's fascinating, actually, when you think about it. But it's, I mean, it's all in, it's all in the smoothness. It's all in. It's, you know, it's different than driving on the road. It's different than driving on a cross. And you are using the entire track. Every inch of it. You are using side to side. God damn. I'm impressed, Jesse. Holy crap. Don't judge a book by its no, 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 cover, this man. Is the, this is the biggest. Do not this judge a book biggest. by its cover. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like a, you know, some teenager's car yeah, that they, that they like, got off of Craigslist. It looks like a total bomb. I, I literally got this in the Craigslist marketplace. Yeah. That big net in the front was. So when we do stage rallies, we got a like a regular car, so like eight o'clock in the morning on like a, on like a Friday morning, uh -huh. I get a deer with it. Yep. So that's why that's all stoked in. That next to character. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I, like, I again, seven hundred dollar car. It's it's. I really bought it to do this. You yeah. Know? It gets me around. It does all the things. I'm just thoroughly impressed with your times. Like, I, <laughs> looking back at this, it's probably like. We're putting down some solid times. It's pretty good. I'm not going to say it's extra fast, but it's fast enough that you're like, okay. Yeah, and it's a little bit uh, slick out from a little bit of drizzle. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not enough to back there. That's why I'm sitting up in the sky. He's pushing it. Damn, son. We'll get him in the brave spot, so watch. So from the usual rally tactics, uh, you, you start to get in on a, a corner early, like turn in early, and it's hard to break that habit when yeah. you come to the pavement because you got to be way late on your turn in. Interesting. But we also basically make two turns out of one turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. You need to hit the apex as late as possible. Way late. And I mean, you, you do your best. Again, motorcycles. Motorcycles yep. get you through that because you have a lot higher consequence. 100%. You hit the ground when you screw up. Right? Yep. It's like, oh, no, I hit the grass. I, <laughs> I'm very excited to not just get into more track days with cars. Yeah. Slash my Miata, really. But maybe my bike. What do you I, have for a bike? I have a 2005 Yamaha FZ6. Okay. Stock. Bone stock, except for two brothers. Uh, Slip, slip, slip on yeah, exhaust. Yeah, just because if, if not, you wouldn't hear it at all. Exactly. <laughs> but it sounds great. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it's a great bike. I love it. It's perfect for a first bike. Yeah. I've owned it for seven years. Still love it. You know what? It, that, it's perfect to be your only bike. Yeah. You don't need anything bigger. It's no. The same, you know, the same concept happens on the track on any type of uh, powered things. Uh, when you think that it's... You know, an insignificant, uh, you know, say a Miata yeah. or anything like that. No, you learn how to drive it, you will be a lot faster than anybody else that thinks they need to the power. Absolutely. Know? Yeah, dude, <laughs> you are sending it. <laughs> This is the fun, you know? Full stowage over here, man. There's no, you can't slouch, you know? I, I have, the more, the more fun I have, the faster I end up going. Yeah. You know, so like, usually uh, I'm having a good time, so we usually haul an ass for, uh, you know, whatever the heck I'm driving that day. Man, holy crap! 
that wasn't even like an uh-oh. But I like, see him, he, we're about to high score speed. Ah. Same cars. So, how long have you been racing? How long have you been... Oh, racing what? Well, <laughs> I should say just in general. What's That's your experience true. level? Um, I grew up racing up um, Another lot of luck, even though I'm actually an ex-pro downhill mountain biker. Okay. So, uh... That's kind of where it started. I've yep. motocross. Uh, I've raced some dirt, like uh, air scramble uh, dirt bikes. And then, uh, you know, stopped racing downhill professionally. Got sucked, you know, suckered back into racing locally. I still ride for fun. Uh, but, you know, we've been doing a lot more car stuff just because you grow up and that's, you actually have money now to do it. Yeah. You know? So uh, I've been racing since I was probably six out of 42. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And living life to the fullest. And it's the same. So yeah, I got no kids. <laughs> I got no kids. Is that the secret? <laughs> in my rally, in my rally, rally ship, my wife's my co-driver. Yeah. Wow. So like, yeah, we both we do it. That's awesome, man. You want to pass a You want to pass a Mustang with a Volkswagen? Again, we already lapped them. <laughs> I love how you're doing this, having a full-blown, leisurely conversation. I mean, that's, it shouldn't, like, you know, I've been telling everybody today, like, I've been in the car, I was like, it should not be, uh, it should not be a, that much of a challenge to you that you can't have a full conversation. I mean, also, like, for me, when I'm used to, <laughs> in, a, in the rally car, you are having a full conversation. Yes. You have a co-driver telling you where every you're going single to turn, the, the amount of degrees. Of yeah. You know, yeah. So not having a conversation in the car is weird. Oh yeah. You're also spending three days in the car with that same person. Fair point. Alright, so this Mustang we already lapped, we're gonna lap them again. There you go. You got it. Yeah, that was a little wild. <laughs> That's what happens when you lock up one of the rears. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the title of this video. <laughs> Do not judge a book by its cover. No, no, it's definitely, definitely a thing. Don't sleep on the $700 Volkswagen. I mean, my, so, my race car is literally the same exact car. Good timing. Oh, Bill's out. This is all, I raced with Bill over here. This is that. Yeah, yeah. E46. Okay. A little late on the action today, but uh, um, he's actually a fantastic rope cage maker. Yeah. So uh, he built a rope cage in my race car, uh, <laughs> which I literally trust my life with. That's awesome. Here we go. Hell yeah, dude. Nice job. <laughs> Well done, Jesse. Well done, man. I will say, don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. But also, you gotta, you know, consider the driver mod over here. There's some, there, uh, I mean, I guess that's the best thing I can tell people is learn your driver mods. They're free. Yep. <laughs> yeah, today was all about just trying to be a sponge and just like absorb, yeah, absorb as much as all. I can. I mean, that was incredible. You can very much get out of hand uh, monetarily. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm a true. I'm a true. Like, run what you have and learn your learn what you have, versus throw money at things. Fair enough. Wow, Jesse. <laughs> well, that was a thrill. That, I'm sure. That, yeah. That I'm glad I took you up on it. I'm gonna be late, Joyful. but so what? You know what? <laughs> that was worth it, man. Jesse, thank you again, brother. No that problem. was awesome. No problem. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next one. Peace.